Is my mic working today? Awesome. Okay. Make sure the sound's still working. <clears throat> okay. Hello. Just giving people a few minutes to hop on. Uh, we are continuing our Shits Creek builds today. Um, I can't believe we're already on build number five. Which is just wild to me. <laughs> We're already on the fifth one. <clears throat> um, let me pull up my photos. So this is what we're continuing today. I think we should be able to get most of it laid out. Do you have all of the expansion packs? Yeah. Like you're saying, you can't see all of them. back in here um I am I'm not sure how to fix that yeah usually when once you download the game they'll like pop up I'm saying I'm not online whoa sorry I got like <laughs> I had like 40 notifications for some reason Lots of downloads yesterday. Um, so for anyone who's just joining us in this series, uh, we go live almost every day. Every weekday is what I try to do. Um, right now, our current series is building the town of Schitt's Creek. So we've already finished the Rosebud Motel, the cafe, And then, let's see what else. Uh, the apothecary. The list is getting pretty long now. The apothecary and the vet clinic. So these are all on the gallery, all available to download, all that stuff. Um, and right now, let's see. So we've got the motel over here. And then we've got all of the other builds so far are on this line. And I have a plan uh, for all but, I think, one lot so far. Um, so I think there's only, like, one lot that's going to be empty right now uh, in all of Newcrest. Um, Schitt's Creek has a lot, of, a lot of lots and spaces that we can recreate. <clears throat> and they use, like, real buildings for the exterior for most of their filming locations. So like the town hall, uh, like I have Google Earth images because this, it's a real building. Um, it's the real town hall of the town that they filmed in. 
So, let's see here. I had a reshade on this, so just want to see if it's on or off. On, okay. Because uh, I'm on PC right now. Um, so yeah, this is the build so far. We got the outside figured out. It's not perfect, but it's as good as we can get it with a lot of trial and error for the last few days. Um, the layout for it right now is, let's see, you come in like the little vestibule and then we put two bathrooms here um and then the space is laid out right now for like as if it was the town council being in there um we discussed yesterday real quick so you've got tables and then the little stage and then back here uh, would be like the storage space. Um, but we talked yesterday about making like this back area the Jazz of Gals um, practice space. Um, whereas like in the show, right, they would move everything to the side. Um, but we could still give them like a nice space back here. Um, and right now the lot is just a generic community lot. Um, yeah, it's just a generic community lot. We might make it a community space depending on what packs we use, right? Because that one, you need, um, e eco lifestyle to have community spaces. Um, but still, still deciding on what packs we want to use. Because right now it's, it's base game. And I think, I feel like the wallpaper is like... A vampire wallpaper um, but I've been like tracking so the way that I build is I don't use every pack that I own every time I try to keep it as close to base game or just like one or two packs as possible that way more people can download and use the builds um, so I have like I have my notes of what packs we've used <laughs> um, so yeah, like on the other other builds, we've only used like one or two packs, right? The motel is base game. Um, the vet is like obviously cats and dogs, but then just like one or two other packs to really like flesh out the details. So today we are uh, basically we're just decorating. That's pretty much what we're doing today. <laughs> um because we have the space laid out and now we just need to you know keep it going I just realized my screen is a little cut off give me one moment maybe if it doesn't totally break it might, it might freeze um yeah, I am not sure. I am not sure. I'm not a computer expert. Uh, I know that on like EA's website, they have the specs listed and things like that. But yeah, I have no idea. I usually play on a MacBook Air. But I couldn't tell you a single thing about this computer I'm on right now. <laughs> I have no idea. It's just one that my, my husband had. That he wasn't using. Um, I don't know why this is. Go away. Thank you. <laughs> I updated the the reshade yesterday or day before, and it's just like super weird. Um, so this is the town hall from the TV show Shit's Creek. Right, so you come in, there's the vestibule entry, we have two bathrooms, the big open space in the center, and then we have a room in the back, which we haven't super decided what we want it to be yet. 
We haven't really nailed that down. Because it could just be storage. It could be like a like a kitchen space, you know, like if they're having events. Um, like a place to have like a warming kitchen. That kind of thing. Um, so let me... I'm going to turn on my filters really quick. City living. Do, 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 do. I think these are the packs that we're trying out right now. So let me see. Do, do, do. Vampires. Okay. This is the town hall. City Council, Jazz and Gals practice space. It's like their community lot. Yeah. They use it for everything because it's such a small town. And since we're using Eco... Um, weird. Um, since we're using eco, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure we're going to use it. Um, we have a lot of really cool build items to use. I'm going to try not to use too many just in case someone doesn't have the pack. Um, but we do have a lot. We have a lot, of, a lot of options. Excuse me. We put like a shoe rack. I don't know if they're taking their shoes off though. Um, I'm going to turn on bb.moveobjects. <clears throat> Yeah, and that's why I like to keep photos pulled up of what I'm working on. Like, I have pictures all over my screen. <laughs> so I'm like referencing photos constantly. Did my cheat now work? Okay, interesting. So right now the build is mostly base game, but as we're decorating, we're adding in new packs. So we're adding in a few different packs as well. Um, the places that are already done are all on the gallery, so you can go look at them there. Uh, yeah, the motel was the first one we built. Um, so there's a different, like, I don't use any CC in my builds. Um, yeah, I don't use any CC in any of my builds. Um, and a lot of them are base game or just one or two packs. We don't really have any photos of this front room. We get a giant mirror wall. Um, we don't really have any photos of the front room. But I imagine there's some like pretty art. It's a medicine cabinet. We put that one. There's a photo. 
It's a town hall. Yep. Let's see. And I wasn't able to be on here very long yesterday. Um, I had to run to a doctor's appointment, so I just kind of like finished laying out the space. And then um, that's pretty much what we did. <laughs> And so today is mostly just like a chill, decorate kind of day. Mm. Man, what am I looking for? Ooh, too big. Let's go for like a little chair up here, maybe. Maybe a bench. Yeah, yeah, and I uh, I went through and I looked at a ton of photos. So they have this front, like vestibule area, and we never see what's inside of it, but it's it's large. Um, so I'm just putting like coat rack, little table, that kind of thing in there because it's just a pass through space. They're not really hanging out in there. Yeah, they're not really hanging out in there, um, but it's really, we made it really big. <laughs> Hitting buttons and they're not working. I actually might be able to shrink it. Make it one, one base smaller. Yeah, that works. That actually works okay. And then the final placement of this lot is not like it'll get moved around as we do the landscaping over the next couple of days. So this actually feels a lot better. It's just like a pass through space where you put your coat. Maybe like a lamp. Floor lamp. Hmm. Like a little lamp. And then I'm going to give them a small um, rug. Okay. Save them. Yeah, they filmed. They filmed in a real town um, in Canada. So the uh, the motel is a real building. The bed is a real building. <laughs> the cafe, the apothecary, the garage, and. The town hall are all real exterior buildings when they show them in the show. Um, all of those are real. Uh, the inside are the sets for, for them. But yeah, the outside of all those buildings is real. Um, so to move the lamp, I just hold down the alt on my keyboard. And you can move it freely off the grid. And then if you want to intersect items, like through a wall or overlapping, you um, put in the cheap bb.move objects. That's what allows you to like stack and overlap items. 
Um, but if you're not going to be overlapping and you just want to like move it into the corner a little bit, um, just hold down Alt. Yeah, Alt or Option, depending on if you're on a PC or a Mac. And that will let you freely move around the grid. Yeah, I really like um, looking up filming locations. Like, I do it a lot. Um, I'm the that weirdo. Like, when I travel somewhere, I'm like, what movies were filmed here? And can I go there? <laughs> can I go to where they filmed it? Like, it's a, it's a big thing that I do. <laughs> and luckily, I've, I've lived in places where they filmed a lot of movies and shows. Like, uh, when I lived in Atlanta, they were always filming stuff. And then when we lived in uh, New York, obviously, a lot of movies have been filmed in New York City. And, like, every time I visit, I'm like, what movie am I going to creep on today? <laughs> this trip. Just changing the color of a few of these little bathroom fixtures. Oh yeah, the Coven House. That's the one that's in New Orleans, right? Um Yeah, I remember if it's the one that's in New Orleans. I know they did one there. Um my friend and I were we were there a few years ago, and there was, like, a walking tour going on, and neither one of us had watched that show, uh, American Horror Story. Like, I still haven't seen it, but it's on my list. Um, and we overheard the tour. They were like, yeah, that house is from American Horror Story. And we're like, cool. <laughs> it was a beautiful house. Beautiful house. Sorry, I don't like the color of that table. Do you think they have rugs or something? Nice. Yeah, that, that show is on my list to watch. It's on my list. My mom and my sister really, really love it. Yeah, the one we saw was like a big... Um, like a big mansion, like just outside of the French Quarter. Yeah, we were like walking through the, it's like the Garden District or something like that. Beautiful houses over there. Um, I have not gotten the new Sims pack. Um, I talked about it before it released, but I don't. Um, sorry, <laughs> uh, I don't often buy packs like right when they come out. I buy packs when I specifically need something from them. So it's not really on my list um, until I want the new world. And once I want the new world, once I feel like I'm like I'm doing all of this stuff, like I don't have time <laughs> to explore the new world or anything, um, then I might buy it. Like maybe when it goes on sale. In a couple months, um, but yeah, it's not, it's not on my list, you know. What about you? Did any of you buy the pack? Any of you get the pack? Work on this. There's like a when they first come in on this wall. There's like a shelf. Looks like a a random like bookcase catch all space. So I'm just gonna put in some some shelves. Honestly, that looks like one of these shelves. Nice. Yeah. This has been really fun to build and it wasn't my plan to do a Schitt's Creek series um, we just started talking about it on a stream one day and a lot of people were really into the idea 
So we just went with it. So I don't think it goes all the way to the wall. No. It's just two. This looks like books and general clutter. I tend to get quiet when I start <laughs> this process, so feel free to just ask questions. I'll answer. But yeah, I tend to like zone in on this. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All the questions. So the red shelf is uh, CC, so I don't actually use it. I just downloaded it to see what it did. Um, we're building the town hall from the TV show Schitt's Creek. And then, yeah, so to get an item up here like that, I use a few different commands. Um, so I have bb.moveobjects turned on because I am overlapping things. Um, and then so when you place an item, you can press 9 and 0, and that will move them up and down. Yeah, 9 and 0. I'm going to move that out of the way so that my stuff doesn't get in the way or so it doesn't like try to take my objects so it looks like they have like a little radio which I've never noticed before the cool thing is while I've been doing this series is I've seen a lot of items that I've never really noticed in the show Oh, interesting. Are you using the nine and zero on like the keyboard part and not the the number pad? And do you have bb.moveobjects turned on? So those are the two things. Like you can't use the number pad for nine and zero. I don't think. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. Um, but yeah, you have to use it on the keyboard and I always have bb.moveobjects turned on. Sometimes you don't need it, but sometimes you do. And I know like some people have to do like shift nine or control nine to get them to work. Yep. It's still the city hall. That's my building for the week. The town hall, city hall. Yeah. I think they call it town hall, like on the outside. Um, I feel like it's, I don't know, it's like a community building. Yeah, I'm on a Mac too, um, and I've never had a problem with 9 and 0. Um, if it doesn't work, I just put in bb.moveobjects and then it will start working. Um, let me see, sorry, what was I doing? Okay, a little picture frame. And then, yeah, so to make objects bigger and smaller, you use the bracket buttons. Um, yeah, 
That's how you do those, the bracket buttons. smaller yeah I'm not sure um, yeah sometimes it just doesn't work also like that's a very real <laughs> sometimes they just don't work just like sometimes like mother load won't work um, so you just have to keep trying Google Reddit all those places will tell you like different things that have worked for different people and like I know it's different keyboards do different things and it's and sometimes it just won't work right it's a big mystery like I know a lot of people have problems with the well the nine and zeros but the bracket buttons too hmm. that Let's see move that back into place. And then behind this desk, there's like a, a table, kind of like that one. Mm, don't like that one. Don't like that. Hello. I actually think there's a lamp in this corner. File cabinet or files. I just also, as an FYI, um, I get asked these questions like a lot. So I've made several uh, like video tutorials on my on my TikTok and my YouTube channel. Um, so like, if you ever <laughs> need to know them and like I'm not streaming there are I have like on my profile <laughs> so it's all tutorials that's what I do I do tutorials and then I build live here um, it's basically what I do um, so to freely rotate objects you have to do a couple things first thing you have to do is you have to turn on the Sims 3 camera that's the big big thing so turn on the Sims 3 camera. That will allow you to click on an item and rotate it like the normal 45 rotate. And then to do the more subtle rotations, hold down Alt or Option depending on what computer you're on. Because um, it'll be different on a Mac. The button name, the button name's different. So if you hold that down and then you do the same rotating thing, it will freely rotate 
back where it was. But yeah. So Sims 3 camera and then Alt or Option will help you. But yeah, the Sims 3 camera is also how I do like all of this kind of rotating. Yeah. Yeah, the Sims 3 camera is <laughs> really great for when you're building stuff. What am I looking for? Seems like a fun thing to have over here. Floating. Why is it floating? So weird. Hmm. I don't think I made the table smaller. No. Yeah, that was my first thought was, oh, I messed with the camera. Or I messed with the table, but just wanted to float. Oh, this is floating too. Come on. Okay. That's, so this table just doesn't want you to put stuff on it, apparently. It's at a weird height. Interesting. Well, this table isn't, like, I didn't change the size of it. Like, that's its normal size. Oh, well. No big deal. Just won't use those objects. Um, what do I want to do over here? I'm gonna put a coffee maker, but it looks like I have to use the other cabinet thing, table. Mm. That that's okay. And then we'll do this. Really? It won't even snap on that table? Boy, it has to be a counter, doesn't it? That's frustrating. Yeah, it's funny, like, I use the Sims 3 camera, but I don't play Sims 3. It's just, it's still, it's really similar to the Sims 2 camera. And that's what I've played more of before Sims 4. And I just couldn't handle, I couldn't handle a Sims 4 camera. Mm -mm. I would get so mad every time I use it. So it's like, nope, this is not worth it. Um, you can find the camera just over here on this camera button. Right here. Yep. You can also find them like in the proper like settings menu, but it's they have it right there on the front or the top screen.
Looks like they have a bench. And they have like a water cooler. But we don't have a water cooler. How big is the counter? Mm. No, that's too big. It's fine. So to make things bigger, um, you just use the bracket buttons, um, and then, yeah, the bracket buttons will make things larger or smaller. Um, I do have bb.moveobjects turned on, so that will uh, let me intersect items without errors. Um, but yeah, so the bracket buttons will move things or make things larger. Um, to change the camera views, you just come up here to this camera. And one of them says Sims 4 and one of them says Sims 3. Hello. Uh, and then to do it without snapping. This, I don't think, snaps to anything other than, like, it's a wall thing. Um, but if you hold down the Alt button or the Option button, if you're on a Mac, you can freely move stuff. Same thing with this. Um, yeah. So let me put this back. This table doesn't have any kind of snapping on it. This little end table. This one does. So if I wanted to freely move stuff here, it's a little bit more of a process. Uh, but that table doesn't have any snapping on it. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, streaming Sims is pretty fun. It's pretty fun. <laughs> I've only been doing it for a couple of months, but I like going and doing my, my lives every day on here. Just hanging out. Got like things on this wall. We'll get to that in a minute. We'll get to that wall in a minute. Hmm. Yeah, I put an exit sign above the fire exit door. Because there's, oh no, there is. Okay, good. Yeah, I'll put one here, and then I put one on this door over here already. Uh, no, you don't have to put in any cheats to make things bigger or smaller. Uh, normally. Some people do. Some people don't. Some people use shift. Some people have to do, like, shift brackets. Some people have to use control brackets. Um, so yeah, if it's not working, try turning on testing cheats true or testing cheats on, um, that helps some people sometimes. Yeah, it's all of our keyboards and all of our computers are different. Um, 
So like that's the command. The brackets are what does the thing, but getting that turned on is a little bit of challenge. one of those exit signs up. I think they have like a fire extinguisher here too. I wonder if that'll mess with the door. Who knows? So yeah, we got an exit sign. Then sorry, give me one moment. Lamp. Got some files. Mm. I don't know if there's anything else. Put some letters on the table. Yeah, the bracket key sometimes makes things like, like this one. If I go up, it's a like that table doesn't help me at all. It's way too big. Way too big. But that's the. There's no way to like half size something up. Unfortunately. That's why it's always important to like also play test things. Because it might be too big to, to like work. File here. Okay. And let's see what else. So yeah, there's this table, and then there's a bench, a painting, and then we have file cabinets over here. All right. So. Hmm. A bench like there. I'll grab my cabinets. Yeah, I think the tool mod will let you rotate and do that. Yeah, I don't use any mods though, so 
but yeah, I think I think that's the tool mod where you can you can put in like size scaling. All three of the file cabinets that they have are a different color. I'm going to put them under the window. And then... Make a little cart. I'm very tired today. Honestly, I think I'm just going to put like a plant. That's cute. Um, And then we need a file cabinet, decorations. Come on. Cool. Uh, yes, I'm in free build mode. Um, so I, yeah, I have unlimited money. Uh, the file, the file cabinets are under surfaces. Um, and then miscellaneous. So there's different, there's actually a couple different file cabinets. Um, and there's all kinds of like tables. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, we use a ton of them on the, uh, on the apothecary build. Like there's even, um, I forget what pack it's with. If you also, if you go under like the shelf option, there's a ton of stuff under there. Uh, we found this cool like bookshelf shelf thing, which I never knew existed. <laughs> there's all kinds of stuff. Yeah. And, like this display shelf. 
stuff I never knew was there because I don't do I don't do commercial builds. I don't do commercial builds very often. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I really like hopping on here and doing these builds and then yeah, I just love it. It's so much fun. It's relaxing. So to get into free build mode, let me save and I'll show you. Um, this is another thing I have a I have a tutorial on this from just a couple days ago um, on my TikTok. Um, so when you're in the world, when you're in the world, like you can just click on a lot as long as there's no family living on it. I think you can do it with a family. Hold on. Sorry. Oh, sweet. You can do it when the family's on the lot, too. Nice. Okay. So, uh, yeah. When you're in that world view, just click on any lot. Any lot. And then go to build over here. like instead of creating a family go to build if you go to build that will give you unlimited money it's called free build mode um, it works on any lot any type of lot and then like if you want to move if you do a residential lot like that and then you want to move a family in you just have to cheat like free real estate or move them somewhere and get them a lot of money and then move them into the lot like that normal part. Um, but yeah, you just click on any lot and click build instead of create family. And it will do that. Oh, yeah, I heard that there is a sale. I saw a couple of people posting about it this morning, but I haven't. I haven't checked. Nice. Didn't they just have a sale? It just ended. What is this sale? Like... They did a holiday sale, and then they did a Lunar New Year sale. What is this sale? Yeah, so we are. So the, yeah, this is the this is the cafe here, and we're on the the last one. It's a little bit longer of a lot than I wanted. Um, but I figure if we make this like a nice little community space, um, we'll have like picnic tables and stuff. So we could use the space a little bit more. Dang it. Uh, what am I doing? Clutter. I am cluttering. I'll tell you what, doing this series has really made me very familiar with clutter. Because I did not do clutter. I don't do clutter. <laughs> I don't do clutter. Um, even now, except on these builds. It's the only time I will put clutter on stuff. I think I'm, I'm gonna put this little like library cart over here. It just seems cute. And then another plant. Again, I'm trying not to use too many packs to add to the challenge. I'm 
just using the plants that we have. So I don't think there's really anything behind this last desk. Um, so maybe I'll move the little cart over here. And then, they have a lot of art. I think these, I think we might have to move the windows. I think we might have to move the windows. Because they really want to be here. Like in that corner. Then, and there's a painting. And then, yeah. Okay, I think this is more of what the, the windows want to be. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I I really enjoy this keyboard a lot. Um, I just got it a couple weeks ago, maybe. I haven't had it very long. And then this here. Okay, so that's better for the layout of the, the inside. All right, let's save that. Already been on for an hour. Oi. All right. It's coming along nicely. So I'm going to move stuff over here I tend to forget um, smoke alarms a lot like more than I should forget them I forget them but I'm also like I always have a plan when I go to build something like a literal I will either have a plan or I will draw a plan um, with like all the rooms like that's my my architect brain like I'm almost never like casually building something so I don't know if I've ever forgotten a bathroom or a toilet um, 
but that's because I'm, I'm I'm not a I need a plan or I get really stressed out. I need a plan or I'm stressed. So they don't really have anything under this window. Cool. Oh man, I have to move all this stuff again. Where did that box go? There it is. Wrong buttons. And then... chair back here. I actually know what's over here. Stairs, yeah. Oh yeah, and stairs are rough because you need to, you need like to make sure you have room for stairs. <laughs> that could work. Yeah, so I stream in a lot of different places at a lot of different times. Um, TikTok, Twitch, and YouTube. Um, the name is the same everywhere. So just, yeah. I'm usually on TikTok for a little bit, then I'll get on Twitch for a little bit. Some days I do YouTube instead. But, uh tend to be on I think TikTok is the one place I go every day oops sorry um, yeah I'm on TikTok for at least an hour every weekday and then I try to go on to Twitch like after that um, it just kind of depends on what I'm feeling how much time I have all that kind of stuff I don't like any of these curtains. Like, it looks like they just have, like, blinds in the photos. The blinds are really not great. The problem is, like, the frame, the frame of this window is really wide. So something like this might be the best I can reasonably do. Like, 
it not look horrible? It doesn't look great, but it doesn't look horrible. And I'll just have to adjust this mess. Save those really quick. So yeah, for everyone who's hopping on, we are building we're building the town of Schitt's Creek, um, and this week we're working on the town hall building. Which is where they have like all of their events. Um, the town, like the city hall, city council, that's what it's set up as right now. That's where they have all of their meetings. Make these. Oh, the colors. Colors are not good. I will probably change those. Cause that's just it's just bad. Make giant curtains. It's way too big. Maybe we do maybe we do like that or Or like one of these setups. That works. Oh, the blinds are just really ugly. Yeah, we've got some blinds. They are ugly. But the, the main problem we're having is... Um, with this window, the frame is really big, so like having this over the frame doesn't it doesn't look good. And none of like I can cover the window technically, um, but the the frame is sticking out, and that's just not what I like. See, I think I'm gonna do this. Wrong button. So I don't, I don't know if I have a favorite character from the show. I get asked this on every stream, and I still don't have an answer. Because <laughs> um, I, I really, I really like all the characters. I think they're all so well developed. And they're just sweet, sweet people. Um, I love David and Stevie. Moira's hilarious. All the things. <laughs> Everybody's great. Um, yeah, this whole Shit's Creek series actually started because I was talking about um, how I got... What is it? The the menswear kit, just so I could make David and give him like the skirt he deserves. Um, and then we just decided to build the show after that after that conversation. Uh, yeah, so you can make things you can make curtains smaller um, using nine and zero. No, not 9 and 0, the bracket buttons. So it's way bigger, way smaller. But yeah, the bracket buttons. Uh, Oh, too far, too far. 
Come on. There we go. This is taking so long. <laughs> Beautiful. Save. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> So those are there. I'm not going to put any on the, the top windows because these are more for privacy than keeping the light out. Because we always want, you always want light in your buildings. Hello. Hello, hello. I saw we got a bunch of new people who hopped on. Um, one second. Needed a drink. So, I was able to get pictures of most of the sides, like most of the sides of the building. They just have like, it looks like certificates, random certificates on the walls, which is an interesting look. Um, We don't have that many different types of certificates. So I'm just gonna make it like this is a framed thing. And this one. Yeah, like in this, on this back wall, they have three very similar looking. We'll do this. One, one over here, one over here. I can't change the color. All right. Well, we're almost done with this side. What time is it? Twelve twenty. Wow. And then do we have?
a smaller version of this? Oh, oh, oh. Maybe. Hello. That. That's that wall. I hear they actually have a co rack. There's that little chair there, and then Maybe more filing cabinets. Hmm, let's see. Need a square. Yeah, it's not a, <laughs> it's not a great photo. Use these. Now, I'm just gonna like clean this up a little bit. Okay. 
They have so much going on in this building. Yeah, so these paintings are from City Living. There's a whole bunch of them. Uh, the only only thing I wish you could do differently with those is... Oh, I crashed. Um, you can't change the color swatches. Like, you can't change the, the frame color. So, like... This one's always black, this one's always brown, this one's always like a, a birch color. Um, but they're still really pretty. <laughs> they're still really pretty, so I like using them. Over here, I'm sorry. Um, it looks like they use like a file cabinet like this maybe or or where's the other one? Sorry, I'm trying to remember where it is. Um I have one back here. I'll just take it from here. <laughs> I love that. I do miss the creative style tool from Sims 3 sometimes. Yeah, I never uh, got into the Sims 3. But I know a lot of people like ever a lot of cool customizing customization features like I just want things to match right that's all we want because we want things to match Which one of these do we like better? Do we like the tall cabinet or the short cabinet? Let's see if I have a photo of that corner. So the file cabinet is from Get to Work. There's this one, and then there's like a regular file cabinet. Um, but this, yeah, it's a, the wooden cabinet, it's a hospital cabinet, that's what it's called, so yeah, get to work for those as well. There we go. This might work. Boom. 
Yeah, Get to Work has a lot of really cool, um, like, unexpected little, like, cute objects, <laughs> like, in storage and stuff. Storage and surfaces. And that works. And I need to put like a file thing. Words are hard today. Being clutter. Yeah, file, a file box. I'm torn between get to work and get famous. Oh, those are, yeah, <laughs> two very different packs. Um, I have both of those. Um, and I think it depends. They're very, um, like gameplay heavy, I think is how I would describe them. Like get famous is really cool because you can go to work with them and become an actor and things like that. Um, and then get to work is really cool because again they have all these new careers and you can go to work with them um and with get to work that's the pack that lets you like run a business and have a business which we've done a few up here um i think that's really cool but um the world the world that comes with uh get famous is really really pretty it's really pretty yeah, that's a that is a tough one. Let's see. And then if you're picking between Discover University, City Living, and Island Living, uh, I would personally I love City Living. I love it. It has a ton of really beautiful build items, um, but it also it adds a lot of really fun gameplay, like festivals and the calendar. Like they have, they always have something going on on the calendar, uh, like a festival or a flea market. And then having the apartments is really, really nice. Um, and they're fun and then just exploring that world like just walking around in that world is really really beautiful um, and then I think discover University would be my second pick out of that list um, but like only do that one if you're gonna go to university with your sim because it has a lot of really nice building items as well um, like that really amazing shower <laughs> Um, that doesn't have, like, it's just a shower on a wall. That's really nice. Um, but, but the gameplay part of that is really, really, like, the best, like, the point of the pack, right, is to go to university. Um, which I think is really fun to do. Like, going to the city and going to university are, like, the two gameplay things that I always do. Um. I don't do gameplay that often, but that's like, those are my go-tos. Those are my go-to things. Um, so today we are continuing the town hall from Schitt's Creek. So that's what we've been working on this week. Do, do, do. actually a great picture of what I need there. This is up high. And then photo, photo thing.
Oh, that's so cool that you live near the real town. Oh, I love that. I think it'd be fun to go there one day. Cool. Um, cottage living or get to work. Um, yeah. Again, I think it. I think it depends on uh, if you want to go to work with your Sims, uh, which is the big thing from get to work. Or uh, if you want to do all of the things that came with Cottage Living. Because they both have really good build items. Um, and cast items and things like that. Uh, I just got City Living like last month. Uh, and I've done zero of the game, zero gameplay for it. Uh, I've used some of the build items. But I, I personally was not interested in that gameplay <laughs> at all. Like, not even a little bit interested. Um, but I know a lot of people are, like, they really love it. So with that, again, it just depends on how you use the game. Oh, I just had an idea. Yeah, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Cottage living, you can have cows, which is a plus. Yeah, not interested in having cows or farm animals of any kind in real life or in a video game. Um, like, not my jam. Um, let me, I just had an idea of an episode, like I just remembered an episode where I think I can see this back wall really well. Um, wait, so I'm going to check, see if I can see it really quick. Oh, it's not that episode. I agree in real life, not interested. Yeah, I'm mega. I grew up around farms, uh, but I am super vegan. <laughs> and I won't even, like, not even in a video game do I want anything like that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm checking a scene from the show really quick. Oh, oh, there's a piano. Yes. Okay. It's a piano. Cool. Sorry. I just got real excited about that. Uh, where do I find pianos? Yes. So we're doing city living. For sure. Do you think they have like a big... They don't. But do we, do we want like a big organ over here? <laughs> um, okay. So I... I'm going to make this really quick.
pull those out. Let me go. So I started doing this like se like several months ago um, because we didn't have like we don't have a good upright piano. Except for that giant organ. I actually have a tutorial on this uh, on my channel from like months and months ago. Months ago. But what color does this want to be? I don't know if that's the dresser I want. I don't know. But it'll work. Yeah, so we have our little piano. Sorry, I got really excited because, yeah, it's just a piano over there. And then more file cabinets. More and more and more file cabinets. Awesome. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's been really fun. It's been a lot of fun working on this. And then... What am I looking for? Alrighty, and then, yeah, so behind, like, I think it's supposed to be Roland's desk, they have a bunch more filing cabinets. I think I have a photo, yeah. So he's got a filing cabinet, a big plant, and then little filing cabinets. If 
filing cabinet. Little filing cabinet. I put one of these up here. Like that. And then a couple of these. And then he has a plant in here. Which is great because there are not there are not very many plants in this whole building. And then, yeah, some. He's got some files up here. Hmm. Don't know if we see what's on the wall here. Okay. So they've got this is where I knew they had to have some kind of uh like corkboard <laughs> somewhere in this build. Because it's a community building. That goes right there. And the party. Oh, close, but no. Beautiful. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. That's open there. 
I think this is coming along really well. I've seen a couple more things. Hmm. What else?
there. I think all the walls are done. Like everything. Everything on the outside of the room is done. <laughs> Beautiful, just in time. Um, okay, so everything on the wall on the outside is done. Um, we're actually just about done streaming for today. Beautiful. Um, perfect timing. So tomorrow what we will do is we'll decorate the desks a little. Just a little bit, nothing too nothing too detailed. Um I have to stop. Um nothing too detailed. And then we will work on the back room. And that'll be that'll be it for the build, and then it's just some landscaping. So it is tomorrow. Thursday, so tomorrow we'll finish the inside as much as we can. So it should just be this and then back here, which we don't have any photos of, so it'll just be like making something back there. Um and then we'll just do a little bit of landscaping. I'm not going to do too much landscaping, uh, but give it some green space. Give it some green space. Picnic tables, things like that. It's going to be like a community lot. Um, but yeah, thank you all for hanging out, and I will see you tomorrow at the same time.